I have the CZ75B SA, where SA stands for single action. This is a single action only gun. Unlike the 75B that we normally see at the gun shows and the sporting goods stores, this one does not have a decocker. It is single action only. It's, it's more realistic or more, it's more similar to the 1911 in that it carries cocked and locked and has safe, a side rail safety, side slide safety rather. And this one actually has an ambidextrous safety, which is one of the main features that I liked about it so much why I got it. Um, it shoots very nice. This is 9mm caliber. I only have 10 round mags with me, but I believe you can get high caps mounts inside the frame, unlike the 1911, and that's supposed to give a little bit more accuracy to it. This gun is serialized on the frame, on the slide, and on the barrel, whereas your most 1911s are just uh, serialized on the frame itself. The sights are non-adjustable, just drift it left and right as needed. There's no elevation adjustment, as well as the front, there's no adju elevation adjustment as well. So you only have left and right adjustment for this. The uh, safety, as mentioned, is single action, nice, or am uh, ambidextrous rather, on both sides. So if you're shooting left-handed or right-handed, but tear down on this is fairly simple. Line up the, the marks in the very back, and I usually put my thumb through there, grasping the hand the, the barrel. Pull it back to where those two lines right there line up, and then on the other side, push that pin out. If your gun's fairly new, you may use to have to you may have to use something plastic to help push on it. This one's been used, so it's barely broken in. That little pin comes out, and then the barrel assembly just slides but right off. Ergonomics on this gun are great. I love the CZ frame. It, it's just, in, in ways, it feels a lot better than a 1911 in itself. But the, the trigger is quite different. That's a, definitely a, a point of separation for these two guns. The slide, so as you can see, it's well-worn. Recoil spring and a little guide rod. It has a dimple on the end of it which makes it going back together real nice so your spring doesn't pop out. It fits right in there when you put it back together. And the barrel is very reminiscent to the 1911, except it doesn't have the rotating lug. It's just kind of cammed in there. So. But also the cool thing about the CZ is you can get a 22 conversion kit for it about the same cost as a gun. The 22 conversion kit is the CZ75 Cadet. It is a, a 22 conversion kit that replaces the entire top end just like your other 22 conversions and it comes with a 10 round magazine for the 22's. Uh, I love this this little feature here. It fits on, your gun goes together just like just like if it was the real thing. Line your little tabs up in the back this, the Cadet is much newer than the, the rest of the gun. The only thing I don't like about the Cadet is that's all the racking surface area that you get in order to, uh, to cock this thing. So it's really not much to grasp. But you see how the slide just moves on that? That's not very much mass moving back and forward. I sus or having to be moved since these are blowback guns at this point with 22. I suspect that's why this thing runs so well. Is the trigger is a bit creepy, no matter what the 22 conversion kit or the uh, the the regular slide. It's got a little sponge to it. There is no hold back on the cadet, so the bolt does not stay open on your last shot fired, which is no big deal. But you know, if you're if you're used to that, you need to to remember that. So let's take it back apart. We'll take a look at this little cadet a little bit closer. As mentioned, the slide is, or the, the part that actually does the moving is inside the slide. We'll pull out the little recoil spring. I mean, this is tiny, very similar to the uh, other one, just a small scale. And then the, the blowback portion, the portion that actually comes, moves, just comes right back like so. I mean, this is fairly light. I don't, this is very heavy. But if you look at the design on this, the barrel is fixed. It, there's there's no uh, rotation. It's not going to be um, um, any movement right there. So you can look at this and say, wow, the barrel's fixed. So the accuracy 
this is probably another reason this gun is with the 22 conversion kit is so accurate it, there's just no movement in the barrel so when you sight it in it stays where it is very easy to clean only problem I did have with this 22 conversion kit was when I first bought it I went to put it on the slide it would not fit the rails were just a little too wide so I couldn't get this on the frame and as I mentioned in a previous uh, video don't ever file on your gun don't ever relieve any metal on your gun always relieve metal on your parts that you're trying to fit because you don't want to mess up your gun itself because this is basically buying a new gun so in in this case this this is my gun I'm replacing this part the 9 millimeter upper with the new part the 22 cadet so I relieved a little mo little material here on the slide so that it would fit and once I got it it runs like a top and goes together you know they, these so now these two slides are mated perfectly to this frame and you know that it's your gun you know you're not gonna be switching it out with anybody else's stuff really so I wouldn't be wor too worried about mangling anything so they're it's an all steel gun, metal frame, metal slide, metal barrel. I mean, it's all all good. The only thing plastic is probably a few, a couple of little tiny in front, internal parts. Kind of doubtful even at that point. But the uh, the grips are plastic, and that's about it. Um, yeah, I may have mentioned this in a video before. If you are looking to buy a competition gun, get one that doesn't have an aluminum frame because chances are if you're shooting competition, you're shooting a lot. And the more rounds you shoot through that aluminum frame gun, you're going to wear it out sooner. I mean, you know, it's, you got to shoot a lot, but still, you're you're better off with a steel gun over time and round count. Um, for a competition gun in USPSA production class, this gun is not legal. This is why I sold it to my buddy because I just couldn't use it other than an IDPA. And besides IDPA, when I shoot IDPA, I, I use my carry gun. That's a, and this is this is way big for my carry gun. The reason it doesn't make production class for USPSA is because it is single action only so it needs to have a decocker for it to be uh, production there has to be two different types of trigger pulls or something to that effect I, I don't know the actual lawyer language in there but this gun is definitely not legal for production in USPSA so where does that put it? that puts it in the limited class which you do get with your high magazine capacity which is a, a legal in limited class, but it's nine millimeter. So nine millimeter scores minor. So if you're shooting limited class and you're shooting this gun, you're shooting against other people that are scoring major. So that means their hits are going to be uh, worth more to them. So you have to shoot even better, way much better than them. So I would not use this gun for USPSA uh, for unless you just don't have anything else. It's not that competitive, let's just say that. I mean, it's a perfect gun. I love this gun. It shoots well. I love the ergonomics. My wife loves the ergonomics on it. Most people are going to like it. But the, uh, as far as being a competitive gun, this is probably not the one for you. That's all I have for the CZ75SA. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.